baroning. I'm gonna go in after TF. That was not a good play by me. I should have gone in after Sivir because she has less HP. But I'm gonna drop. Bane's gonna run. I think she might die, but no, they're gonna go back to Baron. We were able to stall for quite a bit of time so Baron could heal up. But I don't know if that's gonna be enough time for us. Bane's gonna survive, but they're gonna take Baron. And so right now we're back to we're this is a bad position for us. Even though we took down Turret down to here, they have Baron. And we're back to 2020 right now. Oh, he's gonna Are they gonna kill him? That is nice. Okay, well, we're up by one kill, I guess, but they still have Baron. We're still not in the best possible position. But it's looking a little bit better after we killed that Skarner. By killing that Skarner, we're forcing them to go back. They can't push up against us because it's 4v5 right now, actually, for the next 18 seconds. Right now, the best thing for us to do is wait. Is wait. That's all we can do. We have to wait for their Baron to go out at 25 minutes in. Baron is a gigantic edge. They have a gigantic edge with that Baron. That Baron gives them a lot of damage, gives them a lot of health regen. It definitely can make them, uh, give them the edge they need to win fights. So we have to push out the lanes, force them to force them to defend their lanes by killing the creep and wasting time and wasting the Baron. And once the Baron's gone, we can maybe have a solid five v five fight. And if we win that fight, the game is ours. So at this moment in time, I would like to say that most likely the next fight determines the game. Whoever wins the next fight wins the game. We have this inhibitor. If we take, if we win a fight, we can take this inhibitor and probably push these out and win the game. If they win a fight, they can easily take these out and push into the inhibitor. No problem. They're basically all DPS. Because of that, because they have so much DPS, I bought this chain vest. You have to build build according to the situation. I'll talk later. Just watch. Okay. Well, I picked a chain vest rather than building an abyssal to help out Kennen and me against this TF because they have so much DPS. Look at this. Trinomir, Sivir, Skarner, that's a lot of DPS. And so getting a chain vest will give me a lot more survivability against this team. And that way I can build into a what is this? A hourglass? Okay, this is gonna be pretty intense. I'm gonna try to push down the minions so that they can't hit the turret like that. That's my main goal. Just taking out all the minions so they can't they can't push. But I have to be safe. If I go in too close, that scanner is gonna grab me, and it's game. Like once I'm dead, the game's over. I'm the I'm the main carry, as you can see. Ten two. If I die, then the team is the team loses because they don't they lost their carry. We put a ward down there. We know that we know that Alistar wants to come in. I'm gonna keep trying to take out all of these creeps. And now they're pushing up the turret. We're gonna push up a little bit. Oh, he's gonna flash. He's gonna stun three of us. Really nicely done. They're gonna get caught. Ken is gonna try to go in, but he's gonna get exhausted. That's absolutely no damage. Oh, here I am. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> What'd you guys expect? <laughs> so, if you guys don't understand how I did that, basically, I went after the most squishiest player on their team, i.e. TF. So, by doing that, I also waited for all of their CC to go down. They didn't know that I was there. They were, they was too bu they were too busy fighting, like, exhausting. They were too busy exhausting cannon. Stunning and killing Vayne and Leeson. Leeson didn't die, but they were definitely CCing him. I waited a really, really long time. If you guys watch that again, you'll notice that I waited a really, really, really long time before going in. I, I even waited after Kennen's ult stopped. So, that was for sure, definitely, all of their CC was gone. Alistar used his CC to stun three of us. TF probably used his gold card a lot earlier to stun Kennen. So they didn't have any CC against me, but now that was a dumb move by me. Again, remember to always, always, always watch everybody's death timer. Because of that, I just I got myself killed. Not a good play by me, but luckily we were able to take this turret as well as take this inhibitor. So they are not at an advantage right now. Even though I died, we're still at an advantage. We're up in kills. We have this super minion. We have the super minions pushing, and we just got another dragon. So. 
we're now in a good position after that pentakill. So here we go. Let's let's hope this ends in a win. Yeah, we're still gonna get dragon, huh? But as you can see now, I bought my hourglass, so now maybe I won't die as easily. Now I'm up. I'm definitely carrying my team. Look at this. No one is positive except for me. That's kind of sad. <sighs> Oh yeah, so now that uh, Sivir has her GA, the best thing to do, in my opinion right now, would be to take out TF first rather than Sivir, because that GA, first of all, that's not going to let me proc my passive, and second of all, if we waste all of our skills on Sivir, it's still 5v5. If we waste all, our, all of our sk uh, skills to kill TF, even though Sivir has her passive, that's still a 4v5 if he dies first. By the way, I, this cannon's going hybrid. Look, Hex the Gunblade, and he's what? 2 and 6? I don't think that's, that's working out too well. Like, I've seen straight up AD cannons do very well. Cannon has a really good CC set. So, and mobility. He has really good mobility and a really good CC. So, being a DPS champ would be really good. But going hybrid, that's. You're sacrificing too much. Either get a lot of AP and deal a lot of burst damage. Or just get a lot of AD and just deal a lot of DPS damage. Going hybrid, I don't like. I don't think I've seen a successful one right now. Like, here's a perfect example: 70 AP, 81 damage. He's not. He's not the one dealing the damage. I'm the one dealing damage. He's just CCing them so I can get a good, good shot on them. Okay, so right now they cleared here. They might catch Kenan, but that's impossible because of his speed boost thing. We know that Alastor is in this general direction and that they're all gathered here. It's 5v5 right now, except is she going to back? She's going to back. That's too bad. Okay, well now it's 4v. Oh no, she's here again. Okay, this fight will definitely determine the game for sure. Even though we do, ha we do have an advantage now, so it's a lot easier on us, but this fight will determine the winner. When there is a fight. If there is a fight. Oh, there's Alistair. Alistair doesn't know that we're here, but we're gonna pick up this kill. You see, you see that I use everything on him. The moment we kill Alistar, he's dead for basically a minute, and that's a 4v5 for a minute. And free Baron for us, 4v5. Here we go, we're gonna attack Trinomir. He's gonna ult. Okay, now we're in, a good, we're in a really, really good position right now. I'm just gonna go in and ult. I'm gonna take out Trinomir. I'm gonna flash after TF because I want his blood. He's gonna stun me, but we're still gonna. They're still gonna kill him. For sure. Yep, bye. Yeah, so that, that's the game. That's the game right there. So. We win, by the way. This vein is being stupid. Don't take turrets when you have them all dead and you can easily just push the game and end it. But they surrendered, so it's over. There we go, GG. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you guys want to see more, please subscribe and like it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.